Now's business psychologist Dr. Rob Young, everybody. <laughs> How are you doing, Doc? I'm good. Marvellous. Now, Jeremy and Jane, things are going from bad to worse. Well, I think it's interesting because actually this represents fundamental personality differences. <laughs> so he is someone who's very emotionally stable. She is someone who's very expressive. She experiences real highs but real lows. And so they're going to clash all the time. This is going to be their life if they work together. <laughs> There's something to look forward to. Uh, <laughs> what kind of advice would you give to them as a couple then? Either not to work together yeah. or make sure that you actually leave it, uh, you know, behind at work. So when you go home, back to your home, back to the bedroom, you know, not to bring up all of the little snippy things that have, have, have been happening all day, otherwise it's going to tear you don't apart. They? Yeah, I think that basically she has a go at him, but things don't really bother him that much, and that, <laughs> that exacerbates the situation because she, she wants a reaction. OK, uh, now this week, uh, Jeremy, Martin and Jess were all pitching to their clients, Marks and Sparks and, uh, and Selfridges, right? Mm. Uh, let's have a look at how they got on in their pitch. How important is organic produce to your, to your clients? I think it's definitely a trend that you've identified. What's the market like for, say, ready meals specifically designed for children? Um, Right, OK. Obviously, the most important thing, it being nutritional, wholesome mm -hmm. and healthy. Right, OK. Um... Yeah, I think, you know, increasingly people really do care what's in their food. Yeah. Um, brilliant. I think that's just about covers everything I'm looking for anyway. OK. OK, thank right. you for that. I don't really like going near mm -hmm. microwaves at mm -hmm. all. So to get something from our concept mm -hmm. into a package mm -hmm. and microwaving it, it just goes against what we provide at our restaurant. OK, Rob, talk us through their performances. OK, three very different tactics there. <laughs> when you're trying to influence someone, you want to understand what is on their mind, what they think about something. So Jess asking lots of open-ended questions, encouraging the other person to talk. She was pumping in for info, right? Yeah, but in a, in a very polite way. Okay. Whereas I think, Martin, your approach was... Uh, perhaps a few more questions would have been helpful. He was pumping less, just three pumps for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Exactly. And then, Usually is. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then Jeremy to go in there and basically insult this woman and say that, you know, whatever you do, I think it's rubbish. Perhaps not the brightest of things no, to do. No, it wasn't a very good start, was it? Uh, now, Rob, um, Emma and Martin, they actually yeah, they went this week. What was their fundamental weakness? I think, well, there's a concept um, we talk about called emotional labour. The idea being that if you're in the service industry, if you work in a call centre, you know, cabin crew, wait staff, you have to put on a bit of a front. And we all love you for being so down to earth, but sometimes customers, they want a good time. They don't want to be told that, you know, you're having the most traumatic day of your life <laughs> ever. You know, so you've just got to put on that little bit sure. of a front and Let, that'll yeah. help Let's you. have a quick look at honesty oh, gone no. crazy, yeah? <laughs> I've opened a brand new restaurant over the road called Bravo and if I'm very honest with you ladies, I know ladies appreciate a bit of honesty, I'm struggling for bums on seats. It's a bistro style, contemporary English, a um, couple of examples would be a tuna, um, wait a second, wait a second, oh my god why do I not know this, what about um, pork loin, pork noisette, main courses with, um, with um, those posh potatoes shall we call them. <laughs> Those posh potatoes. <laughs> I'm sold already. Could I spare a moment of your time, please? Uh -huh. You're going somewhere, aren't oh, you? Got a table book. Everyone wants tie. Stick your tie up your arse. That's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, what, what should they do? Should they lie more? In the, apart from learning their menu, should they? Should they lie more? No, it's not about lying at all. Because don't change the people you are. No. But just. Think about what you say. So, you know, rather than putting your foot straight into that mouth, you know, think, <laughs> should I say it really? Do you think you might yeah. bend the truth a little bit more in the future? Yeah, absolutely. We've learned so much from this from this opportunity. We really have, and we never claimed to be restaurateurs. We were got, we were in it for an experience, a challenge, a test, you know, and ultimately t to win the prize. Unfortunately, we didn't get that far, but you know, we've learned so much. And roll the clock back, th however long. Give us another chance and, my God, we would storm it. Wipe the floor, yeah? Absolutely. OK, so Raymond has made his decision. Emma and Martin have had their restaurant closed down. John, uh, be honest, I know everybody loved them, but they weren't right for Raymond, were they? Not at this time, no. No? It's a bit like wine. It's going to develop, mature it's going to mature, yeah. and then with age, it'll be wonderful. Wonderful. Dipna, uh, very quickly, their redeeming qualities. Um, I think, Emma, you're very bubbly. You've got a personality, which is really nice. Um, Martin, I know the incident with the eels 
you you were just adamant you didn't want to work with them so you stuck to your guns so if you call that quality you got it you stick to what you want <laughs> finally uh, rob uh, should they have gone this week I think your time had come. I mean, there are stronger couples, you know, sorry Absolutely. guys. We, we you agree. knew it was we your time, right? We agree with that, absolutely. Yeah, we, yeah. we got given chances. We, you know, we took them with both hands. We tried our best, and, but unfortunately, it was our turn to go. OK, all right, uh, guys, bravo. The place where the food we love becomes the food <laughs> you love is no more. But let's stop for a minute.